Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, earlier today, Disney came out and basically revealed that all of what Marvel has planned out, when it comes to the theatrical side, that is, will be delayed. And this is no surprise, as um, we are in the middle of a writer strike, and not to mention... There has been a lot of a reshuffling even before the writer strike of um, when a bunch of these movies and the MCU should be released in uh, in theaters. And yeah, man, wow, this is this is pretty crazy. So I was expecting this to be kind of announced or revealed or discussed a little bit about at San Diego Comic Con, but the fact that they released it now. I, have, I do appreciate them releasing this now, especially as this as it does give them more time to talk about all sorts of other things, like the announcement of the rest of what they got planned out for Phase 6. So that this does kind of make sense if that is the case. And we even got some official release dates that they are planning out for all of these projects that they are delaying. So... Yeah, without, without wasting more time, let's get in this article and see what exactly it says here, because I am curious on seeing when all of these projects that they are delaying are now going to be officially releasing, especially Avengers Secret Wars, because that obviously, but from what I heard, got delayed again, which sucks, so I do want to know when that is going to be coming out. So let's get in this article and see what exactly it says here. So it says here on the CosmicWonder.com that Disney just threw Marvel for a massive loop by switching up many release dates for a variety of projects. This update is on the release calendar for the Marvel slate and more, as reported by Variety. There is even a new Star Wars project set to release in December of 2026. Oh my god, wow, this, so the Star Wars project got delayed to 2026. Okay, wow, okay, I did not know about that, holy crap. Also, the announcement that the live-action Moana starting Dwayne Johnson will be releasing on June 27, 2020. Okay, I don't really care about that. Okay, whatever. All right, now, on to the Marvel stuff here. Starting off, we have Captain America Brave New World, changing its current release date from May 3rd, 2024, now moving to July 26th, 2024. So the, so the date that Thunderbolts was supposed to be coming out is now going to be replaced by Captain America Brave New World, and Thunderbolts is most likely going to be delayed till until another so sometime after july of 2024 okay so all right captain america 4 recently went through the name change from captain america new world order to captain america brave new world we also learned that the serpent society will make its appearance in this film with diamondback and cobra since there has been some early shifting with the projects in 2024 naturally we will see a domino effect with all the other disney projects that will be releasing Deadpool 3 was set to release on November 8th, 2024, and is now scheduled to release on May 3rd, 2024. And wow, so they're they're really like pushing, they're really like really pushing this film out like forward. Holy crap. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. So this is okay. This is a little confusing now. So is Deadpool 3 moving into phase five? Or is Phase 5 going to end and all these projects are going to be moved to Phase 6? Like, or is Phase 5 going to end? Like, is Phase 5 going to be the shortest phase ever? Like, okay, this is a little confusing. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait and see how this plays out. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be surprised if Marvel does talk a little bit about these changes and go into more detail on what exactly they're talking about, especially when it comes to Deadpool 3 being pushed um to from november to may of 2024 so definitely i do want to hear what they got to say about this so we'll see what happens there captain america 4 took the july 26 thunderbolt spot so the thunderbolts movie will now be releasing on december 20th 2024 oh wow okay okay wow so moving wow they're really moving to the end of 2024 dang the blade film starring uh mahershala ali um, and I never get this person's first name not first name right, so I do apologize for that if I did kind of butcher it. Um, is set to release on February fourteenth, twenty twenty five. Okay, so we got an official release date after <laughs> directors being replaced back and forth, scripts being rewritten. We now have a release date for for this. 
it was originally going to come out this year, but then it got delayed, obviously, because of what I just said. Um, and it makes sense. So now we got official release date, February 14th, 2025, Valentine's Day. All right. I'm down with that. Fantastic Four will now be releasing on May 2nd, 2025. So it's going to be releasing the day that Avengers The Kang Dynasty was supposed to be coming out. So then speaking of that, moving on to Avengers The Kang Dynasty won't be releasing until May 1st of 2026. So the Avengers, the next, the next Avengers film has now been delayed, which oh, I, I was, I, I saw this happening the moment the writer strike happened. I was, I kind of figured Kang Dynasty was going to get delayed and especially Secret Wars, which it says here, Secret Wars right after Kang Dynasty. So I'm going to get to that now. Um, so Kang Dynasty coming up May 1st, 2026. And even further out, Avengers Secret Wars is now set to release on May 7th of 2027. My God. <sighs> and I, I'm not surprised Secret Wars got delayed again. I'm really not surprised that it got delayed again. Because again, Rider Strike and all the reshuffling of all the other Marvel projects. Well, definitely the Rider Strike, because that that's definitely the biggest reason why all of Marvel has to delay a bunch of their projects, which I am very curious about. Are they going to delay a bunch of their Disney Plus stuff, which they most likely will. All the Disney Plus shows that they got planned out next year and for 2025, I won't be surprised if they are going to get delayed, which they, they're obviously going to, which it would not be a shocker at all if that is indeed the case, which again, wouldn't be surprised if that is. So, wow, man, Secret Wars got delayed again, which, again, that's not surprising at all. But, jeez, man, Secret Wars is kind of becoming the next Flash movie when it comes to it getting delayed multiple times. My God. Well, definitely Blade, Blade though, first. But, man, Secret Wars is really working up there, too. It's getting delayed a lot. So, all right, now moving on. Uh, these are massive release dates and changes, and Katrui could be initiated by the current writer strike and other variables. Very true. As long as fans get projects that are complete and well-polished when they hit the theaters, fans can wait the extra time to have a better finished movie. That is very true. That is very true. Because I do know that um, with Phase 4, there again, with Phase 4, a lot of people have talked about this. A lot of people had a lot of problems with Phase 4, especially with the VFX and CGI being rushed. Um, and um, a lot of the VFX artists didn't really have time to put in a lot of the CGI and the VFX work in a bunch of the Disney Plus shows and in the movies. And um, that definitely in the, the beginning of Phase 5 with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, I know people were really questioning and really um, seeing as what was going on with that and uh, really calling that out. Um, so yeah, man, um, I really like this. I'm really glad that, uh, that Marvel is, um, definitely going to be delaying this, especially to give fans a better, like what, what it says here, a better polished movie, more complete, complete VFX, complete CGI. It doesn't look all wonky and all that. Like it looks really good. I really like that they're going to be giving the fans that because, because this is like something that a lot of people have really been complaining about and something that um, is the fault of Bob Chapek when he was the CEO of Disney really rushing out a bunch of a uh, bunch of projects and seeing as now with Bob Iger coming back in and uh, seeing as Bob Iger isn't really going to be there, going to be in charge of Disney for that long. He's really going to be, um, really changing up things a bit to give fans a better experience with Marvel projects, which I really like that he's doing and um, definitely giving some VFX artists um, some more time to uh, put in better CGI, better VFX um, and making sure that they get better paid too. Cause I know that that's been a big issue. So yeah, really glad um, that all of this is going on. Um, so yeah, we just got to wait and see what happens. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this gets talked about a little bit at San Diego Comic-Con next month. And, um, yeah. So, until then, everybody, um, post comments down below, though. Uh, let me guys think about this. Are you happy that um, that these projects are uh, going to be delayed and most likely um, worked on a little better? That way, uh, the people working on these projects can have more time to work on it. 
and um, can put in much more time and effort into this to give um, us fans um, a better movie with um, a lot of quality in it and not really quantity-esque, um, do let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Um, do let me know. Again, I'm curious what you guys think about this. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of a Marvel or a fan of um, the MCU specifically, um, you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also, come follow me over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye!